Um, so my name is Ann Scranton and my blog is sugarandwool.com. It's a knitting and baking blog. Oh, um, and today I made cinnamon chocolate challah, uh, which we were trying to do things that were nut free so that a lot of people would have options whether they had allergies or not. Yeah. And this is one of my favorite recipes that um, I'm sure I'm not the only person who came up with it, but I came up with this one on my own and it's just a really... It's good any time of day. It's good for breakfast. It's good for dessert, and it's um, it's it's a rich bread baked with cinnamon and chala, or cinnamon and chocolate in it. Um, and it's kind of dangerous. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. And how do we get to your blog? Sugarandbowl.com. Is the recipe for the It will be on there tomorrow. Awesome. Very cool. Awesome. Well, thanks for coming out. Alright, so um, you can just give your name, uh, your blog, okay. a little bit about what you made today. Okay, alright. Where are we going now? Sure, okay. yeah. Hi, I'm Alex. Uh, my blog is yumsandloves.com. I made the cake pops today. Easy, just a little chocolate cake bite with cream cheese frosting. So, um, it's kind of like everything on a stick right now is really popular. So, <laughs> I go for it. Yeah, so I'm really okay. excited. We've so busy this morning, sold a lot already. So already just 10 o'clock. So yeah, yeah, been busy. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, very excited. Yeah. So, so do you sell stuff uh, outside of outside of? No, the this is thing? my first big event. Oh, okay. So yeah, I just Very started cool. my blog about six weeks ago. So oh, oh just getting congratulations! New. Oh yeah, thanks. Yeah, so, cake pops um, seem to be all the rage these days. Yeah, well, once it goes to Starbucks, you know that means <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so I'm really excited. I thought it was easy, and um, I love to bake and cook, so I can eat it all myself. So I think if I have motivation to put it on a blog and I can take it to work or yep. the bake sale is perfect. So Great. so how do we find your blog again? It's yumsandloves.com. Alright, yeah. thank you. Great, thank Excellent. you. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Okay, um, my name is Karen Brown. I'm the friend of Foodie. I have a blog called The Friend of Foodie. Uh, this is the bake sale I'm organizing. I have a book coming out next month called The Food Lover's Guide to Seattle. And uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it. What else do you want so to do? So, can you tell us about the book? Yeah, basically, it's a guide to all the best restaurants, specialty shops, and bakeries in town. There's a band, there's a, it's a, there's a lot, there are a lot of listings in there. It's interesting. Yeah. Very cool. And does the book have a website as well? Uh, it has a Facebook page. So the Facebook, Facebook page. page is the Food Lover's Guide to Seattle. Okay. And that's it. I ate it every place in town. And <laughs> yeah, there'll be a lot of resources. And a lot of new discoveries. A lot of new discoveries. There's there are some like little hole in the walls, and there's classic restaurants that have been around for a while. So. Mm -hmm. can, can you tell us what's new or what's been happening in the Seattle food scene maybe this year? It seems like stuff like this is just sort of burgeoning and. Um, what's new? Oh. Basically, all these people are just succeeding. It's nice to see you know bloggers who try who started it, uh, a few years ago succeeding. There's a lot of new books coming out. And, yeah, the food scene in Seattle is thriving. I just moved here like a week ago. Oh, really? Yeah, I just wow. quit my day job and picked up and moved to Seattle. I, I used to work in Kansas City. So, so yeah, this is kind of it's awesome. That, like, it's awesome. We're really right. connected. We all know each other yeah. and we're all friends and we all help each other. So I think that's really unique. Right. Tamara. Okay. My name is Tamara. What's your blog? Um, I have two blogs. One is Buzz Food, Buzz food. and it's more of a general kind of my exploration of food. There are recipes. There's a whole section called Recipes That Work, which are recipes that I make at home. And I certain they work because there's nothing worse than making food and then having it not turn out because someone didn't get the recipe right. Yeah. And Welcome it's to my life. It's, yeah, yeah. It's, and it's just a waste of money and that's an issue these days especially. So I always, I try these recipes, I put them out there. And the other thing is I love food TV and so I often will write about you know, chopped yeah, or bread network show, you know, anything out there. What's your favorite show right now? Oh, Top Chef, I really, really like, I like that a lot. But I also like Chopped a lot, too. I, I really admire their creativity. And then, actually, the more busy blog that I have right now is called Extra Extra. Extra Extra. And I started this, um, I started it like three months ago, but a year ago I started a CSA subscription. Oh. And so I did this big box of farm raised vegetables and it was huge. Yeah. And even as a cook, I was like, how do I cook all this stuff? Because I hate throwing food away. I really do. I think it's just a moral it's problem. Yeah, yeah, it's terrible. Um, I was just reading in the paper the amount of food that we throw away. It's, it's in the Seattle Times today. 
the US um, especially. Yeah, we're, it's terrible. Just because something is a blemished or whatever. Yeah. Um, and so I started Tuesday night, every night, as soon as I got my farm box, I'd sit down and plan out the week of what I was going to do with the beets and the kale yeah. and the odd vegetables I'd never seen before. And, you know, the stuff that everyone really likes. And making sure that I have to do it in way. And realized that this is probably the biggest um, stumbling block between the consumer and the farmer is consumers not knowing to do all these right. really great, healthy um, taste and produce. But once they learn about it, then they can do something. So my current blog, Extra Extra, is about giving people options, building up their pantry so they can take those fresh foods and make something that doesn't require they go to the store and get a fancy ingredient, and using whole food again. Yeah, so. just a little planning goes a long way. Totally. I, you know, I think I learned that. I think I learned that um, working in a, a restaurant and having to, you know, cycle out uh, the inventory in the, in the uh, refrigerators and the and all that. Yeah. Um, just, you know, you've got to keep things fresh and you've got to keep it all up. So yeah. it's kind of a habit. Yeah. And I actually have an inventory that I use from now. Grocery shopping you know, on my iPhone. Yeah, it's just, it doesn't take much to really you know, plan it or do it one day. And, you know, you can do it every day, but it's really about fresh food and getting yeah. back to whole foods and cooking. The quality and the, the nutritional value of the food just goes way up if you plan a little bit and the cost. And, just and the, the waste. cost, yeah, and the cost. And I mean, I, I really like learning how to use the freezer again. A lot of people think freezers are for stuff you get at Costco. And it's like, no, I use, when I have a lot of extra herbs, I make herb butter and I put it in little fancy uh, candy uh, bowls and I freeze it. And then when you have like people over, you can pop some of these out. It's like the easiest thing in the world. It looks so fancy. Very impressive. And, yeah. and I mean, it's stuff I already have. So it doesn't take a lot of effort. You just have to be creative. So that's kind of what I want to do is help people to get there. And, there is a whole generation, I think, or more than one generation, um, of people who just haven't been handed down these uh, kitchen skills and pantry developing skills. And I think we all need to learn that again. So I was lucky. I had parents that grew a huge garden, so I grew up eating fresh food, and so I know what that tastes like. And it's just it's not the same. It's not the same when you're eating it processed. You really need to do it yourself, and it's it's actually easier. And you think, and it's fun. It's a lot of fun. It's really impressive when you can like put food by and then show your friends. Oh, I made this fabulous tomato sauce out of my garden tomatoes. Yeah. And you go together with people. It's just like a big social. It's kind of totally. Like, there's like a million, million food reasons. Do you do, do, do you do that regularly? Um, we've done that before, yeah, where people get together. I have some friends who have this huge garden and they share things. And yeah, definitely any kind of event where I go, there's always some food. <laughs> it just makes it better. I mean, food is what brings people together. And, you know, homemade food even better. So we talked about doing that actually in my neighborhood. Just starting a monthly potluck where everyone just brings something. Just so we can all be in touch. Because, you know, neighbors don't talk to each other. So again, food is a great Yep. Oh, and so did you make something for the big sale? I did. I made um, these really great molasses cookies oh, and three okay. wrappers. <laughs> <laughs> And um, so I, did, I browned the butter to make it more caramelized. So with, between that and the sugar and the molasses. <laughs> and I made these last night and my teenage girls were up late. And so I had to like make sure and segregate what I was making today because I knew if I didn't make <laughs> <laughs> is this like a recipe that you have? or you It's not my up? original recipe. It's, um, I'm as ma not as much a baker as I'm a cook. So, okay. um, but it's from the Great Cookies Cookbook by, jo uh, by Carol Walter, and the recipe is from Joanna Proust, and it's a really good recipe. And I've been, I've been making that for years. It's just a tried and true. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. Well, we have to try some. Yeah, Yeah, you should. They're good. No nuts. <laughs> Very good. Uh, so just to, to find you online, it's buzzfood.com? It's uh, buzzfood.blogspot.com or extra extra recipes.blogspot.com. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank